All right, so in this one, we're looking at uh, deleting posts. So how do we create the function to delete our post? So we're going to go with delete, then we go with edit, and then we're going to create the like button. Okay, so we start with delete. So in order to speed things up when creating pages, we can simply get uh, what's already there, like this template from uh, the profile.php page, or maybe the timeline is easier to deal with. Yes, probably. So because it has the same stuff. Okay, so we can probably use that. So let's go to our folder and get the timeline page, which is the index.php actually, right? So let me copy and paste in the same folder. And then I'm going to re rename this one to delete.php. Something like that. Where is this? Uh -huh. Delete.php. And I'm going to load it up like so. Now, the advantage of this, it already has this section at the top here. Uh, this part which makes sure that if you're not logged in, this page is going to send you to the login page. So this section is very important. And then we have our stuff down here. So instead, we're going to say delete here. Change this to delete. Mm -hmm. And then we go down here. We're not going to be needing most of these uh, styles. But however, we can just uh, leave them there. So let me see what that does. Let me go back to my profile. So now we need to create a link so we can be going to that particular page. So on the delete button here, we're going to add a link. Now to do that, we know very well that uh, the post.php is what contains each post in there. So we're going to open that up. And then we're going to search for where it says uh, delete, right? So where is that? And as you can see, it's right here edit and delete okay so let's add some links over here and it's very easy we add the a tag there like so so opening and closing a tag like that so there's edit in there and i'm going to remove the dot to be outside the links like so and then i'm going to duplicate this one more time like so so i can uh, remove the edit because these lead to separate uh, places so they need and i'll remove that uh, last one here they need separate links All right so the link is very simple here is simply the page will be edit uh, dot php which we haven't created yet and here it's going to be delete dot PHP, which we have actually created. So once we do that, uh, that's it. And as you can see now, the, the the links have changed color, so I can click delete, and I'll be taken to the delete page. Of course, this doesn't look very much like the delete page, so we have to redesign this. And so there are a couple of things that we have to remove. I kind of like uh, this box right here. Uh, and also the post button right there. So maybe what I will do is, since the button is right here, I will remove this part and I will move that part so that I'm, I remain with this and then put something else in there, okay? So to do that is quite simple. I will go down here. Oh boy. Oh, this is the wrong place, this is the post we have to go to the delete page. All right, so it can get confusing sometimes. So there is where the header is and we have the post button right here. So anything below that, the post bar right here, this is why it's important to label everything. And we want to delete all these posts right here. So let me refresh and there we go. And then we have to delete this other side as well where there is a user so let me come back here and see where is that user and there it is selfie.jpg so we have this thing that has a display of flex in here 
the container so friends area which is here right here let me remove the this div everything right here up to there so we leave the post area there and refresh and there we go pretty awesome okay so instead of what's on your mind of course we are going to change this to remove the text area this is the text area right here so that's what represents that we remove that and instead we're going to put some text here i'm going to use the h2 tag like that i'm going to say delete content or delete post as the title of uh, this section so let me put a break tag here of course so that uh, we leave some space below that and refresh and there we go delete post now the post button should also change to delete to signify that we are actually deleting something here delete something like so okay awesomeness now what we need to do in order to be able to post anything here is to add a um, form which will refresh the page now usually a form can be sent to a different page but we are just going to send it back to this same page and evaluate once we have uh, posted something so this is where the inputs are uh, submit and all that they're supposed to be inside a form so i'm just going to write form like this this is the one i'm looking for right so let me move that to encompass everything like so and put that in there okay so submit button now the question is we're going to ask the user are you sure you want to delete this post so we can put the question inside the form that's fine but another important thing is to make sure that uh, the method is post okay and then uh, the question comes in are you sure you want to delete this post double question mark <laughs> pos all right so let me refresh that and are you sure you want to delete this post all right why is there too much space all right so let me put the break tag after the question instead mm -hmm. so which post you may ask so we have to be able to view the post now the problem here is the website cannot know what we want to actually delete because at the top here we can only see delete.php we just came to this page just like that so we have to give the website some kind of clue as to which post we are actually talking about right so now in order to load uh, a post uh, because some posts only have images and others have um, only text okay so if i go back to my uh let's go back to the profile mm, okay it has this and... all right so pretty much the text and the image that's all we have to work with okay so that's fine so how do we tell the website what um uh, let me actually remove where is all this coming from Oh, it's the h2 all right so we have to give it some kind of idea of which post to delete so let's go back here to this uh, area here okay so we give the information on the link itself so let's go back to post.php right at uh, this part edit.php we're going to add a query string query string with a question mark so we're dealing with delete so let me put a question mark there like so and then we're going to say id is equal to or whatever it is so let's go to our uh, database and see what kind of identifiers we have for our posts what is unique about each post that we can use so we have something called post id at this point okay so the post id is our friend so we're going to use that post id because it's unique for every post 
so we're going to say id is equal to and then now we don't know what id uh, this post has so we have to ask it so we will use php on this one and we're going to say echo and then uh, because all the data as you can see is inside the row uh, right here row okay so we're going to use that and say row post id like so and close that bracket like that okay now the important thing to remember let's actually close this php tag like so is that this whole thing uh this this uh, inverted comma should go to the end here to cover this whole part all right so hopefully i haven't uh missed something here let's test it just to be sure and there we go so if i go to each delete i just hover on the delete button you're going to see that there's an id at the very end and this id is unique for every single post so this is good right now we can see exactly which post we want to delete so let's try one that has an image as well so that we can do the designing first so let's try uh something like this one wait let me see i need something with a little bit of text as well so i don't actually have a post with text oh this one right here so there's text and there's a image so good for designing so that's the id we have to work with at the top there 